Hello, I'm Graham Bray from Easier Internet Marketing and welcome to this new video series Create Your First Blog with WordPress. So welcome back to this fourth video in the WordPress series. Now in the last video we looked at installing a word theme. I hope you found a word theme that you really liked and got it installed and set up. In this video we're looking at two things, adding widgets and creating links. So let's First of all, start thinking of this strange word widget. Let's dive in now and see what a widget actually means. Now, strange word widget, it's got a couple of meanings. Let's just look at one of them first of all. You may have come across widgets referred to those little objects you put in beer cans, and those little objects that create a perfect head like on this Guinness here. But no, that's not the sort of widget we're talking about. Widget we're talking about is a little tool or content we can add to our WordPress theme on the sidebar that really helps make it better. Here we've got some the BBQ recipe info page I installed last time. And this side here, these are the widgets. Now what we can do, we can actually add widgets or we can take widgets away to really alter the look of it and to put it just how we want it. So without any further ado, let's dive straight in to the dashboard of our WordPress. See you there. Right now here we are in our dashboard. What I want to do first of all is find the widgets. So come across here to where it says appearance, drop the tag down and there is widgets. Now here there's a list of all the possible widgets we could put into the sidebars over here. Let's just scroll down and see what we've got. We've got um, categories, we've got meta, pages, posts and so on. Now two we're interested in are these two. Recent posts and tag cloud. Now what we're going to do, we're going to drag those across to this area here in sidebar 1. Let's first of all get recent posts. So come over here to recent posts, click on it and drag. Now as you come up towards the area here, you see this dotted area? We're going to drop it in there. Let's drop in recent posts first of all. Okay, title. Let's just call it um, as it is there. Recent posts. Recent posts. Now this allows us to change how many posts you want to actually show. Um, five seems a suitable number, so leave it at that. So click on save. Now the next one to get is what's called a tag cloud. Now tags are the keywords you use when you're trying to get the search engines to locate and read your blog. So we're going to drag the tag cloud over as well. So click on it and bring it up here. Again looking for that little hatchy area. There we go, there it is there. So oops move about a bit. There we go, put it in there. So tag cloud. Now again I simply call it tags. Um taxonomy post tags. That's fine, leave it as it is and save. Okay? Now we've now put in there two widgets. You go across to our BBQSB info site. Okay, we can see here that they are recent posts and tags. Now this one is interesting, links. We're going to look at links next, so let's have a stop and a think. Just what do we mean by the term links? Now links are found all over blogs and websites and what they're doing really is they're directing you to an area that the um, the blog author wants you to go to. So links enable you to go directly to other relevant sites or areas. For example, you may want to link to an affiliate site. Now my site here is about BBQ recipes. So what I'm going to do is link them to um, an affiliate product called Competition Barbecue Secrets. Now this is um, an instruction manual to make people um, into master chefs that can do succulent barbecue recipes. What I will do then is put a link on my blog to this site and when they click on this site here if they're interested they may purchase a manual and if they purchase a manual then me being the referrer will get 50% of the cost. That sounds like a good deal doesn't it? So let's see now how we can put these links onto our WordPress blog. Now back in dashboard to access the links come over here and click on links. You can see here by default there's already one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven um, links but we don't want those so come up to name and tick in name there. Okay, bulk action, delete, apply, and there they all go. Okay, so now we've got rid of all those links. Now what I want to do is click on link categories. Now we want to create here a new link category. So what we're going to do is put in the top um, recommended 
resources. Now in this link category, what we're going to do, we're going to put um, all the affiliate links we've got. So we're talking about the, the competition barbecue recipes, we want to put that in link categories. Okay, so leave everything else as is, nothing there we want, and just click on add link category there. Okay, and then we can see we've now got recommended resources as another link category. Now let's put um let's put our link in show. Let's create a link. So let's go on over here to add new. So add new. Now here we're going to put in the name of our um, affiliate link. So what was it competition BBQ secrets, wasn't it? So it's competition competition check spelling BBQ secrets okay and here is the web address that we're going to put in there so I'm going to, go and I'm going to copy that from um, the site so let's put in here the address that's my affiliate link there for the address and again in here I'm going to put in um, com right, competition oops too many T's competition BBQ Secrets. Now, when people um, hover their the mouse cursor over the uh, the link, this will pop up. Just tell them what it is. Now, we want to put this into recommended resources. So, click on here in recommended resources. And the thing I like is I like it to open up in a new window or tab, and keeping the existing part open. So, click on there, blank. I think that is everything. Let's just check down, and oh, that's everything I want to put in there. Come over here to add link. And there we go, all done. If we go now to BBQ Recipe Info, and here we can see now that our link's been put in place Competition BBQ Secret. So if we just click on that a second, so it happens, and we should go. Let's have a look, fingers crossed. There we go, how is that? Competition BBQ Secrets, we're now into our affiliate site, and people can click on that, have a look at it, then come back to our own site by closing it down. Now, how exciting is all that? Now, in the next video, we can look at putting plugins onto our site. So, we'll stop the video here, and we'll see you in the next site. Bye bye for now. I hope this has all made sense to you, but please, if you've got any questions whatsoever, please contact me at www.easierinternetmarketing.com and just go to the contact page there and get in touch. I look forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye for now.